What's up everyone? This is my video editor, Gordon, and today he's getting a brand new 3D printer and we're gonna do a test print that might just leave me hanging. That's right. <laughs> oh, geez. That was terrifying. Not only is he my video editor, he actually has a pretty awesome YouTube channel called Grim Granite. How's it going, Gordon? Going great, man. Thanks for having me here. <laughs> welcome welcome to the studio. Yeah, it's weird being on this side of the camera. It's... <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, you've, you've been, for the last little over a year, yes. you've seen me from that side. That's right. Now yeah. you're here in my studio. He yep. actually lives uh, relatively close to me, about yeah. an hour-ish yep. away. Can you tell us a little bit about what your channel is? Yeah, absolutely. So Grim Granite is a channel about camping and adventure. So I like to teach people how to survive in the woods and just take their next steps in nature with more confidence. It sounds like a lot of fun. We should take the 3D printing guy and put him in the wilderness. I don't know. I'm just going to throw it out there. You should definitely come out in the woods. It'd be fun. That would make for a great video. I don't know if I'd survive. <laughs> so we've been actually talking about how 3D printing uh, for my channel could help Gordon's channel and what kind of things we could put together for you, the camping, the hiking, the, the general outdoor stuff. So our friends over at Bamboo Lab shot Gordon over a brand new X1 Carbon, uh, this is the AMS combo. I'm so excited. Oh, Man, I'm so pumped so cool. for this too. Uh, he has been seeing mine in the videos and now you get to play with your own. So I'm so excited. That's pretty cool. But the first thing we gotta do before we go any further is get this thing unboxed. Here is the uh, mandatory yeah. box Can card. I, yeah, nope. this is not, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, hey. no, Jim, let me, <laughs> let me help you out. Let me help you out. He's, he's got the big boy knife. <laughs> yep. Uh, I need one of those. You know, it's actually too big. It's just this is too big. We'll get a better. We'll get a better knife. There we go. There we okay. go. That's better. I definitely need one of those. Yeah, you do. What? What is it? This is an out the front knife. Out so, the front. Yeah, it's legal here in Wisconsin, but not necessarily legal in a lot of other states. So yeah. <laughs> so if you're cool. in Wisconsin, you can have an out the front knife. <laughs> yes. What about an out the back knife? Would that be bad? I don't know. I think it's a bad idea. I think for your hand, it would. <laughs> out of there. There we go. <laughs> Perfect. Woo! Would you what? like to? Uh, you want me to use it? Yes. Okay. Yes. So you just got to push up on the Ready? button. Yep. <laughs> I need one of these. So let's open this plastic up without cutting myself, because I know you like your knives very sharp. I do. From watching your videos, <laughs> and let's not cut towards you, because that would be against Boy Scouts, right? You know, like we live in the future, right? Like mm -hmm. we have all this technology available to us, and yet camping is sort of like still like the same stuff we've been using. Sure. Like it's nicer materials, but it'd be cool to just like invent something that makes camping more fun Ooh. or more accessible. So that'd be awesome. Yeah. I, I can't wait to see what you do with it. Yeah, me it's too. I fun. think it'd be fun. Yeah. <laughs> stuff in here. Oh. Giant desiccant. Don't pack. don't eat this. I love these things though. I put these in my knife drawers to keep them all dry. Oh yeah. 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 Yep. Also good for 3D printing filament because oh. a lot of it's hydroscopic, ah. so it'll suck up water. In the front, there's just two arrows, yep. uh, and, and if they can see, maybe, where the red dots are down in the bottom of the camera down here, there's two arrows that show you we need to take those out. Yeah. So hey, you know that. what we need to get those out with? T-handled Allen wrenches. Yes. Yes. He loves T-handles. They're handled. actually right there. Okay. <laughs> All right. He's got the T handles. Right. I love T handles. If you don't have a set of T handles, get some. Uh, I think they're this on my nice. Amazon store. This, this is make, nice. They make everything so much easier. Yeah. I'm gonna set these over here. That's pretty sweet. Oh yeah. Yeah. It's light. Nice. nice. So that's an AMS. Mm -hmm. It's the Automatic Material System, is what it's called. Uh, it's super cool. Basically, it'll sit on top. You'll put your filament inside of there. And if you use Bamboo Lab filament, there's actually RFID chips. Hmm. And it'll automatically detect your filament <laughs> for you. That's awesome. So it's really cool that you can just throw your Bamboo Lab filament in here <laughs> and bam, it's just gonna know what you want. That's it'll awesome. show up in the slicer. Uh, you'll be able to select the filament in the slicer. All the presets are ready to go for you and you just pretty much tell it to print. That's awesome. So. How many bagels does it hold? Uh, ooh, no, I don't know I don't about know. bagels. <laughs> it holds <laughs> four spools of okay. filament. Okay. Um, cool. But you can connect four of them for 16 total. Oh, seriously? Yeah. So you can what? have 16 different colors if you wanted to do that. That's sick. It's pretty cool. Wow. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> One of the benefits <laughs> of the X1 Carbon, too. And, and the reason why we asked um, Bamboo Lab to send you this one is because you're going to be camping. You're going to be in the wilderness. Mm -hmm. You're going to be in the sun. 
and yep. and UV and and outdoors doesn't go great with like some filaments. Uh, so you, we're gonna have to use like a higher temp, um, higher resistant filament for okay. stuff you do because if you just threw PLA on it, it's gonna warp in hundred degree weather. No doubt. Uh, it, it's or gonna shatter in or the shatter. Cold. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. In the cold, um, it, you know, it's just not great for being outdoors a lot. So yeah, <laughs> I'm super pumped for this. <laughs> Me too. I'm so excited. There's a spider. There's a spider. You see that guy? No. Yeah, right there. Oh yeah. Where'd he come from? Yeah. He was just stuck on the AMS. <laughs> I, don't I don't know. A Chinese spider yeah. came and visited us. I've seen uh, this in the movie. It doesn't end well. <laughs> so the top will go on next. Okay. Right. Just like that. Perfect. That's it. And then your AMS will sit on top of that. All right. Boom. Yeah, this is pretty easy so far. Yeah, and like, they really do make it step by step in the, the book here. I was looking in the book to see how much has changed. Like, again, yeah. I haven't seen one of these in a long time um, as far as a new one goes. And it's yeah. it's actually pretty pretty much very much the same. Um, so Just the, the spider is like the addition. Like the, yeah, the, the, spider, the Chinese know, like, spider that, yeah. that came in the box. I am yeah. I mean, we're just hoping it doesn't bite us. <laughs> yeah. Woo. Vector. That's the vector, Victor. <laughs> There it is. So once you get it on, it should just uh, click in and slide over. Perfect. Nice. He's peeling it. Yeah. <laughs> then we'll turn it back to the front. Now that we have it almost all ready to go, we need to add some filament. I grabbed a roll of PLA Basic. This is orange. And these rolls, like I said before, have an RFID tag in here. So when you put it in the AMS, it actually automatically reads your roll, which is really That's cool. cool. That's super cool. Um, but something to note for you watching and, and Gordon, when you're handling filament, there's only two places that this end should be. Is it in your fingers or in the, in the printer? If you let this go and it springs out and winds out and goes all crazy, it can actually get tangled and stuck under itself causing snags and pauses in the printing because it can't feed anymore. And what's crazy is you may not see it and it may bury itself like 15 rolls down. <laughs> so like, I've had it in the past where like, oh, it just happened for a second. It's fine. Next print, it tangles. Oh. So you got to like unroll like 50 <laughs> feet, you know, and then roll yeah. it back up. Uh, hold this with your fingers and always either in your fingers or in the printer. That goes for any printer out there, just so you know. So in the AMS, you'll set it in the AMS like that, you'll press the little button forward and you'll pretty much just, uh, if I can hit the hole, <laughs> I should have lowered the desk, huh? You'll pretty much just push it in a little bit like that and it'll go in. When the printer's powered on, it's gonna suck it in. So okay. just push it in maybe like an inch yep. and or maybe two yep. and it'll automatically pull itself in. Sweet. Cool. Now we gotta power this bad boy on. So we got our power cord. I'm gonna let you do the honors. Nice, actually. okay. Because, I mean, it's cool. your printer. I'm just, we're just here, you know. I'm excited. Okay. So, moment of truth. Power yeah. this bad boy on. We have a light Ooh. in the back. I see the screen coming up front. All right. Oh, there yeah. you go. So now that we got it all set up, it's actually running through its very first calibration. These printers are super smart. It has LiDAR, it'll check your bed leveling, it'll check the layers, it'll actually go through and check the flow of the filament for you. <laughs> so it does pretty much everything, but the first thing it does when you power it on and you get it set up is it goes through a calibration. Then there's probably a firmware update uh, because I don't know how long it's been in the box, right? And then we get to print. I love the fact that it's really just a press print and go yeah, kind of like situation. Yeah. Unlike maybe 10 years or even five years ago when there was a lot more involved. So. Yeah, totally. I mean, like back when <clears throat> I was doing like stuff on lasers and stuff like that, yeah. it was like I had to write my own G code. You know, like it was so <laughs> hard to do anything. And yeah. uh, now it seems like it's just so easy. I do not have the attention span yeah. to write G code. I'd <laughs> I don't be either. out. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> all right, we're going to jump ahead to where this thing's ready to print. Cool. Now that we got it all ready, it's pretty much like a rite of passage to do your very first print. Okay. And what got me hooked on these machines is the Benchy. A Benchy is a, a print that was actually designed by Daniel Nore. It's a benchmark. There's a whole bunch of areas you can look at the print and see and fix things and stuff That's like cool. that. But I love the boats, right? And I think we could probably print one <laughs> like this. About, you know, it won't That's take not long. Gonna fit, Jim. <laughs> that, that is not going to fit. But 
They are, you know, a bunch of little boats like this. Here you go, I'll give you nice. one. And this should do it in right around 15 minutes, wow. I think. Um, I say we jump on this thing and we get a Benchy going. All right, sounds good. So to print the Benchy, it's actually pre-programmed on this printer and all of the Bamboo Lab printers. All you have to do is go into the little folder that should be okay. on the side, and the oh. very first print should be the Benchy. There it is. So hit it. Okay. It should give you an option for the filament, which we only have one loaded okay. right now. It's orange, right? Yep. I think it says it on the screen. All right. Hit that print button. That's now that you hit the print button, it should only take about, eh, say, 15 minutes-ish. It's nice. pretty dang fast. That's awesome. I think we should watch it. Cool. Let's do it. So we have the Benji printing. It uh, went through calibrations. Mm -hmm. Everything's good to go. The first layer laid down really nice. What are you thinking? I mean, this is the, the <laughs> first print. First time you're seeing this it's, thing rock and roll. It's so fast, dude. Yeah. It is so fast. And it was so easy. Like literally, I think it was a couple button presses and I it was already printing. So it's it's like so easy to do this. It seems like a very complicated, complex thing, but they have yeah. made it so user friendly. So yeah. yeah, and I mean you've seen my videos in the past with uh, the like other Ender 3 style or the or the Sobols. Yeah. Nothing wrong with those printers. But they don't go together this fast, right? And and you're not printing this fast, yeah. so it's pretty cool. And it, this thing, like you said, it's rocking. It's so fast. <laughs> it's gonna be so cool to see what you can do on your channel. Yeah. And uh, I mean, Heck like, yeah. I the love sky's kind of the limit, especially because yeah. you have a little bit of a design background. Yeah. So fun. you can be like, hey, I want one of these today. <laughs> yeah. You, <know? laughs> you should see what I have for cool. you, sir. Actually. Oh boy. I designed a little something <laughs> special. We do have a print coming, don't we? Yep. Ah, I'm a little bit nervous, but... <laughs> yeah, you probably won't get hurt. <laughs> I, probably, I probably... Famous last words. I probably <laughs> won't get what hurt. What could go wrong? It's All done. Right. Dude, that's <laughs> so fast. Man, it looks awesome. So I um, went hammock camping recently, and it got my wheels turning about, like, maybe... What if I what if I designed like a little carabiner and we just hung you from it in a hammock uh, to see if oh, it would man. see if it hold you? We want to try it. Heck yeah, we should right, try it. I, I I don't know what's gonna happen, but we should definitely try. Yes. It. All right, let's do it. So through movie magic, we now have a couple of carabiners. Where did you find the models for these? So funny, I went on Thingiverse, right? There you and go. the designer of this carabiner will put it. Sure, it'll Tagging be somewhere video, right? in here. Um, and I, I really liked the base. The basic design it was very techy. I thought it really spoke to your channel. So, uh, but it had to be. You know what? It had to be amped up a little bit. So what I did was uh, I procured a mini gym, uh, and I, I actually bullied him right into the carabiner. So he stuck in there, and then I beefed up this yoke right here a little bit because I thought that maybe we needed some more material thickness. And that's it. Yeah. He's way better at that than me. I, I, uh, he's like, you, you know anything about designing or fixing this? Nope. <laughs> so, <laughs> there's that. But uh, I, we'll get some close-ups while I'm talking here. But it's super fun that you put the mini gym on there. And <laughs> thanks to the original uh, model creator, sure. too. Like I said, we, cool. we put them down there. But um, what, what scares me a little is you went with the techie looking thing, not mm. the strength. Mm, that's true. Uh, that's and I'm true. like, yep. I, I'm thinking maybe we should have went with the strength <laughs> one, uh, less cool, more right. strength. Right. But once you sent me the files, I printed them both on my Bamboo Lab X1 Carbons. I printed them with a default 0.2 layer strength profile. I believe that has six walls and 25% infill. I didn't change a thing. I wanted them to be the same. I didn't beef it up. I didn't give it extra infill. I just said strength and let's do this. Uh, I think it was a little over two hours for all the parts to yep. print for each one. And uh, it's, it's important to note that they were both printed in the same orientation. The orange one is the PLA, uh, PLA Basic from Bamboo Lab. The black one is actually PA6 uh, glass fill. Uh, so that's nylon glass fill, also Bamboo Lab filament. And it's so cool because I just tossed them in the AMS, it detected them, I hit print like we talked so about earlier. So this one should be stronger. It should be stronger. Uh, I'm so. really hoping they're both strong because I don't <laughs> want to fall. But uh, I think we should go test these. Yeah. Um, it's raining outside, but we have a backup plan. Let's do it. So we were going to go outside and do this outside in the trees, in a forest or a park or something, but it has been absolutely pouring outside all day. So we're in another space of the studio that I actually never show very often on the channel. I have a little racetrack and stuff like that, 
but it does have these wood beams, enough to allow us to put up one of the hammocks. I am a little bit worried about this. He does have safety ones on in case it does break. It doesn't crash me all the way to the ground. We'll see what happens. But uh, I'm every bit of 260 pounds and I'm not sure what, what is this rated for? I don't know. Yes. <laughs> you yes. don't know. <laughs> well, you're definitely a lot lighter than I am. I'm a little nervous to sit in this thing with, uh, with uh, you know, these these 3D printed carabiners, but we're gonna see how it goes. Yeah, we gotta put our money where our mouth is, right? That's, that's <laughs> right. We're, we're gonna try it. We're gonna see what happens. Let's check it out. So we're gonna start this test with a PLA version of this carabiner. See if it will hold Mr. Edgeworth up here. And uh, so, yeah, I'm just gonna hook it in here. So you explained that you're kind of doing a safety system where there's actually two in case yes. one completely destroys itself. Yes, so basically what we've got is the strap is coming through to this load rated carabiner. So if it does break, he's gonna fall about eight inches and uh, <laughs> eight inches is no big deal, but it'll probably be a bit of a shock. So we'll see if this will, will hold him. Should we run it? Should we try it? Let's do it. All right. I'm a little nervous, but we're gonna try this. <laughs> um, for one, I hope I just don't fall out the back of the hammock. <laughs> We're gonna see what happens. Now you know where I've never sat in a hammock, right? Oh God! Oh, oh there's cracking. There's cracking. There's cracking. Wow! Wow, hey. dude! Hey! Yes! Hey. Oh, Jesus! <laughs> <Woo. laughs> okay, that was terrifying. I was so excited. I thought we had it. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't have it. It um, broke right through, right off your leg. <laughs> it broke right through the leg area. Okay. okay. I can't wait to see what my face looked like on camera because I, I was like, yes, I was celebrating, <laughs> yes. and bam, snap. It was beautiful. Oh, it was that cinema was, gold. That was okay. terrifying. <laughs> okay, next one is the glass-filled nylon. So PA6, yeah? Yes. Okay. We're going to see. This is hopefully going to be a little more, a little more strong. I don't know, man. I kind of think that the pin is the weak point. Now. Yeah, I agree. On this model. Yep, I think so. I think that's the weak point. <laughs> I do know that was terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going for take two. This is, uh, what we say, nylon PA6 glass filled. Um, I'm thinking the pin now is the weak point from the break of the last one. We're gonna see what happens. I have experience now. We're gonna open this up. Oh god. We're gonna sit. Oh, I hear it cracking. Wait. Oh. I hear it cracking. Hey. Hey. What do we do? Count to ten or something? Yeah, I don't even sure. know. Like, <laughs> this is already better than the PLA. I did hear a little bit of cracking and stretching. I'm not sure I'd wanna bounce, but it's holding me. It is holding me. Every bit of me. Should I attempt to lay? Like, sure. I don't know yeah. what to try do. To trans right. Try to transfer I'm gonna, to lay. I don't even know how to do uh. that. Uh, <laughs> I might need to come on your channel and learn. Okay, ready? Yep. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Dude. We're solid. What a win. Yeah, same settings, different filament. This is some good stuff here. That's oh. amazing. Wow. Mini Jim is holding. <laughs> Mini Jim is holding, them, holding it up. You want to try a healthy bounce on it just to see? Uh, sitting up or? Yeah, just just uh, to see if we can get it to I'm fail. I'm afraid now that I'm going to fall out of the thing. <laughs> see if you can get it to fail. See if I can get it to fail. Yep. So, so now we know that this worked. Now we're going to try to bounce. Yep. Oh, there it was. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> that is just, that's. Now that I know I'm not crashing to the ground, it's more fun. But oh, yeah. that failed in a different spot, though. Oh yeah. Oh, did it? Yeah. Well, wow. no, across the mini jam now. You're right. Wow. Same spot. <laughs> so, I think it might just be a modeling issue. Maybe I modeled when I when I put that mini jam into the carabiner. It created a little bit of a weak, a stress riser. Because, In engineering, they call it a stress riser. Well, and and not only that, but we used a default um, 0.2 mm -hmm. profile that is for, it says 0.2 strength is what it is. I think it's like six walls, but it's only 25% infill. Oh, wow. So really, it's I mean, if we beef that yeah. up yeah. Uh, to have a little more infill, I'm sure you never work. know. I mean, this thing is good. <laughs> um, the, I don't think it's a bad design. 
I think I'm I'm a little heavy for the design. <laughs> <laughs> I love right. it. Okay, so this one is different. Usually we print these laying down like this, so all the layers are stacked up like pancakes and it's very strong. This one, however, I printed up. So Gordon is actually gonna sit in it this time. He printed these uh, carabiners, like he said, and he printed it upright instead of flat. So we don't know what's going on. You ready? Yeah, I guess so. So I'm gonna step back here. All right. Yeah. I'm way more nervous than I thought I would be with this. Just, the, just knowing that it's gonna drop me. You know, I don't like, I don't like amusement rides. So here we go. <laughs> oh, oh. <geez>. <laughs> Instantly. <laughs> Instantly. Instantly. There you go. Oh man. I don't even think, uh, I don't even think any of it stayed. I think no. it was just gone. So what do you think? Bad decision? <clears throat> yes, very bad decision. Don't print carabiners that are gonna be used in load rated situations. But it is pretty impressive that we could get as far well, as we did. Well, at least standing up. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, Gordon, we got you a brand new 3D printer uh, from Bamboo Lab. Thank you again, Bamboo Lab, Thank you. for that. Um, we tested it. We, we got it set up. We tested it yep. with a crazy idea of hanging me from a hammock. And we came out with many, many pieces. <laughs> pieces. <laughs> uh, I have to say, I think I said it in the clip. I was It was terrifying the first time that thing broke. Um, but it was a lot of fun. Yeah, it, was. I, it was so, yeah. so much fun. Thank you so much for coming up here. Thanks for having me. So with a little bit of time we had with the printer and the printing that we did for the models, how are you feeling with adding this to your channel with stuff you do? Like, is it is it gonna work out? Oh yeah, for yeah. sure. This is gonna be super exciting because I've got lots of ideas for like practical camping gadgets and gear that are just gonna be make life around camp so much easier, but then also some impractical, kind of crazy stuff too. I've mean, I got some ideas. <laughs> <laughs> I love the impractical stuff. That's gonna be a lot of fun. I can't wait to check out what you do on your channel. Stay tuned to Gordon's channel, Grim Granite. There'll be a link in the description below. Uh, and, and I think you're gonna put out a video sometime soon with some cool stuff. Yep. I can't wait to see what you do again. And thank you so much, man. This is- Thank you. I can't, I, you know, I'm super pumped for you. This yeah. is so exciting. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. <laughs> thank you, Bamboo. So one more time, thank you again to Bamboo Lab for sending out this Bamboo Lab X1 Carbon for Gordon and his channel. Uh, if you haven't seen this video, you should definitely check that one out next. <laughs>